The race to first to max in dead man mode is heating up and I only have one person as my competition, JCW. He might have the advantage of being the best skiller in old school RuneScape, but I have the advantage of him never having playing dead man mode before. And trust me when I say I will do anything to win this competition. Man try beef my doggy war zone thing how come for a party my little nigga can't lose that cash i drop yg all right video is edited time to get back to training i'm going to be uh, running some rooftops now because my agility is a little bit lacking i'm not going to go for 99 straight off the bat but i am just going to run a few rooftops here uh get myself a little bit of agility xp and then we're going to move on to rune crafting i think uh the last thing i want is rune crafting to be my last skill because it is by far the most dangerous so i want to pump that out of the way as quick as possible and i do not want those coins on the ground and i also want to go get the alchemaniac sigil on what the fuck am i doing all right 62 agility coming in i was gonna go for 65 but the boys are ready now and you're probably wondering jake what do you mean the boys are ready well it's time to do some fucking insanely sweaty rune crafting and playing with the boys They've decided they're going to help me out. So the boys and I did a little bit of lava rune crafting where they were running me a, an inventory of essence every time we went around. And then that wasn't the best XP per hour. So we moved on to astrals and also that wasn't the best XP per hour. It was a lot of effort and I didn't want the boys to have to sit around helping me all day. So I just moved on. Currently doing Guardians of the Rift because I think Guardians of the Rift is a little better XP than what I was doing there trading with the boys. If we're doing small teams, apparently it caps out at about 80k an hour and if it caps out at 80k an hour, it's going to be better than the 600k an hour we were getting at Astral. So going to do this and hopefully be able to duo it on um, two accounts. I'm going to use one of my alts to do it myself. Save the boys helping me out as well. I can just do it completely solo. Uh, so we're going to check this out. This is going to be Temple of the Eye completed. Should be a pretty juicy amount of runecrafting XP. Yeah, 50,000 runecrafting XP. And now we can do the Guardians of the Rift mini game, which we will be certainly doing and hopefully getting some insane XP rates. Now the XP is a little bit slower at the moment. That's because I haven't managed to get myself the Colossal Pouch or any of the uh, bonuses you get from the outfits and stuff like that. Did just get the Lantern just before, which is very, very nice. But because we're using the Sigil of Hoarding, that means I get three times as much rewards from my games as I normally would. So that means I'm gonna get all the rewards way quicker than I would in the main game, and then we'll start getting max XP rates. Right, 90 rune crafting and we didn't get it, which is just fucking absolutely insane. Um, and now we move on. I need air, earth, water, fire, lore. Okay, I need all of the elemental runes and lore runes to charge this piece up. Uh, we need to move on to lavas because lavas is just so much better, like so much better than um, Guardians of the Rift. So we need to move on. We need to do it. There's no other option but to do it. Uh, so let's charge this fucking ring up and let's go craft some lavas. Can't believe I'm about to say this out loud, but I miss fucking Guardians of the Rift, bro. Lavas suck, dude. How do people do this shit? The stamina potions I made for 99 Herblore are finally sold off. That's 91 million GP we got back from them. I'm pretty sure I actually made quite a bit of money from selling those. Very juicy. Now, before we get 99 rune crafting, a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video. Hi there, hungry people. Today, we're partnering with Factor, our awesome sponsor. Factor makes it possible for EVscape's community to get fresh, never frozen, ready-made meals delivered right to your door. Since there's no prep, there is no mess. And since there's no mess, it allows you to spend more time watching EVscape's channel. Click the link below or go to gofactor75.com and use code POGEVscapeSet50 for 50% off your first box. And here we go, ladies and gents. It has been a long couple of days crafting runes. But with this one, that is 99 rune crafting very juicy i'm not gonna buy the cake for that one because i mean it's not worth it at all and we're not gonna mess around there's no time like the present i am not messing around we're gonna jump on into the next skill right now all right that is 65 agility which means with the e sigil of the exaggeration i get to 70 which means i can use the pollen of niche course which is what i want to do when i start doing thieving i'm going to go down there for thieving might as well go down there for two birds one scone do the Pollen of Nature Agility course up until 75 while I'm there. But that's not going to be our next skill. The next skill is going to be fishing and cooking. We can get both of these done 
at the same time with two beautiful sigils known as Remote Storage and the Infernal Chef. With Remote Storage, I am going to be storing all of the fish that I catch in the bank. And with the Infernal Chef, I'm going to be cooking them as I go as well. And what are we going to be doing? Well, the best XP you can get in the game for fishing, we're going to be two ticking swordfish. Now, the bad part about two tick sword fishing is it's in multi-combat. The good part is it's in an area where no one is ever going to check, but if they do, I am dead. As soon as someone scouts me here, I have to leave immediately, and I can't even teleport away from them if they're coming to attack me, because I'm going to be in combat with spiders. That's the way I'm able to two-tick. Does anyone know, boys? You probably oh don't. Oh my god! That was oh my god. Oh my god. Listen, <laughs> don't have a shadow play on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it out. So I'm doing some intel right now on JCW, the person who's racing me to first to max. He's doing Slayer right now, which is super dangerous to be doing at this point in the tournament, in the top bracket. I know exactly where he is right now. He's doing Blood Velds, where you do Sins of the Father. The problem is... Not a single person I know has done Sins of the Father. I don't know what to do right now. We could be stopping him from getting XP, but no one wants to do the fucking quest. So smart by him. Well, as they always say, if you want a job done right, you better do it yourself. I'm going to go do Sins of the Father. It's not a complete waste of time because you get four XP lamps at the end, 90,000 XP or 900,000 XP, which I'm going to bang on agility. It's not 100% efficient, but it's certainly not going to be wrong to do this, especially if I can slow him down. So while I was out trying to quest Sins of the Father, I ran into a couple of guys at Draenor Manor who tried to attack me. So my buddy Kizza came out and I came back to get on the guy's friend. And then all of a sudden, uh, an entire squad logs in. This was the clan CL and uh, the two people that we were fighting were their baits and uh, they logged their maxes in. I got TB'd. Um, so I was a little scared, but then of course, I mean, doesn't matter if you get TB'd, just got the hug and the log and guess what? I've still never died in dead man mode. Okay. Cancel that. I'm not questing it myself. I found someone that has the quest done. The guy that beat me last year, Maining, he stopped going for max. So JCW is my only competition and Maining has the quest done and he's just sent me this screenshot and I'm going to pay him 15 mil for that hit. And we continue maxing. Okay, I just had another Blazers member message me asking if I'm paying for JCW hits, which I am, okay? I need every advantage I can get. I'm taking it, all right? Now I've actually got shooters out. Okay, the high scores have just updated. Uh, JCW is now 90 agility. Uh, he's got up to 90 agility just today. Uh, too far ahead now. That's a GG. There is no chance I'm going to get first, so... I've just canceled all my hitmen. I'm not gonna rag him, well, especially when there's no chance when I win. I'm not gonna fucking ruin his experience if I can't take the dub. Uh, so GG's. I'm still gonna go for second for sure, um, but that's it. And actually, you know what? If I find him, I'm gonna go kill him myself just to send a message, but it's over. All right, there's 96 fishing and we are almost 99 cooking. I can just finish that one off at the G with some uh, uncooked fish. But I'm about to, get, about to get six hour logged and I can't be bothered setting up the two ticks uh, with the rats again. But I will go finish, there's the six hour log. I will go finish the rest of fishing at Barbarian Village so that I get uh, some agility XP while I do that. But while I'm set up for two ticking, I'm gonna go finish off wood cutting right now. And we're gonna be two tick and ticks uh, just above Soul Wars. And now that I don't need the Infernal Chef on, I have a spot open for another sigil and I'm gonna put on the sigil of fortification. Look at my defense bonuses right now. Like I'm just never dying at this point. My kitchen thing. Unfortunately, didn't have my recorder on for this, but I actually got caught out at two tick teeks. Some guy actually attacked me, uh, but it's multi and he came by himself. So managed to get the freeze and get away. Okay, after that little stint, it's time to move on to mining. I'll go back to woodcutting tomorrow. Uh, but I just went and had a look in the desert and the sigil of the infernal smith doesn't work at granite, which means I'm not getting smithing XP. It's still going to be faster to just three tick granite and then smith afterwards with Addy Bars and Addy Plate Bodies. But I cannot express to you right now how much I cannot be fucked uh, three tick mining. Now, 
That being said, AFKing iron in the mining guild and getting smithing XP, it's not as efficient, but it's not that bad. So uh, that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go AFK some fucking mining in the uh, mining guild right now, get some smithing XP and just play my alts. To be honest, now that I'm no longer in the running for first to max, um, and I'm way ahead of second to max, um, I'm just gonna go chill. And this time I'm trying to do some three ticking at the pond and I get attacked. Um, it's very weird getting attacked at such strange locations in the game. Most of the time, I'm just gonna get the freeze and teleport. It's just, there is gonna be that one time where someone catches me off guard and I'm just gonna die. And I'm not looking forward to it. Another one. Oh my God, I got another one. Holy shit, another ninja. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is my luck? Okay, I'm almost 75 agility here uh, and 80 I can go to Relica, which is a safe course. I, uh, it's not a safe course, no rooftop sort of uh, course is ca uh, safe, but that means people can only hit me on the course, right? When I'm on the roof, which is easy like, to get away from. In the Sears one and like pole one, like they can hit me uh, as I'm running between obstacles. Uh, it's not in a safe zone. So I want to get out of here as quick as possible. And I've just remembered something. I haven't claimed all of my XP lamps from the uh, the museum. So I'm going to go down there and grab those right now. And we just spam through this dialogue up here. And we should get a whole bunch of XP lamps. We got one XP lamp. It was 10,000 agility XP. The same guy that hit me at two tick ticks last time just tried to hit me again. Once again, got the freeze log. I think I'm gonna have to start bringing my PK set out to my skilling activities because there's so much free loot getting around. I really can't stress enough how much I cannot be fucked doing this right now or ever. I'm AFK in all of it. I'm absolutely, absolutely 100% AFK in all this mining. Fuck this shit. I hate mining. You can all laugh at me in the comments for uh, doing power mining iron for my mining, all right? I'm in a race for first to max. I I've lost, all right? You, you can laugh at me for power mining iron. If there was a chance that I was going to win, I would go and do granite, but there is just zero chance. And the guy in third, I'm like 30 hours ahead of him, so I can afford to just waste some time here and AFK mine this iron. Yeah, I know. I don't know why the claws are like, um, they're like glitched like that. They'll just give you a max hit fucking thing all the time. This guy just come up to me in the mining guild and said, I love miners. Hashtag OT. <laughs> what the fuck? I have eyes on JCW. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. I scouted him on my alt. I saw him doing granite. So here we go. Let's get him. Come on. Oh my God, what's taking so long? All right, get the hit, get the hit. Yes, okay, he's definitely dead here. Catch a freeze, nice. Bolt. One VLS, oh hi, yes, hello my friend. It's time for you to perish. VLS, come on. Let's give him the GZ on first to max as well. Zero, finish him. Yo, 25k cash as well? We take those. So I finally decided to start bringing my PK setup to my skilling activities, thinking I'm gonna get hit by a noob. And the first guy that hits me is the fucking Megatron 5000 in the max kit. I just can't win. It is 94 mining, and that is a very important level. You might be thinking to yourself, how the fuck could that possibly be an important level, Jake? Let me show you something. Now, most people think, and fair enough so, that you need to be maxed to get onto Max Island, but they couldn't be more wrong. Just kidding. They couldn't be more right. God damn it. Have a look at this fucking gear that I just bought for PKing. Um, except I'm not gonna be PKing it. I'm giving it to Ditter Bitter because I've got all this fucking money and it's doing nothing. And I would really like to watch some Ditter Bitter videos while I finish up this maxing grind. So I'm just gonna give him the gear. Oh, it's this fucking guy. I told him if he tried me, I'm going to kill him. I right, got the eats off. Let's get the freeze. I don't know where he's planning on running to. He can't go up the stairs. It's you. Sorry. It's too late for sorry, my friend. It's time to say goodbye. Surely one more bolt to finish this off. Yes, there we go. Trinket of the fairies. Yeah, fuck all. And 99 mining. There it is. We can get out of here, which is a good thing because I am not supposed to be around miners. Got hit out of two tick ticks again. This guy is currently rank five on the high scores. I did almost kill him with a Gmall at one point if I didn't misclick a bird, but nothing really to fight back. However, after I max, this guy looks like he's going for max. I promise you I'll get my revenge. Yeah, 99 woodcutting. 
only got attacked three times out here. It's honestly insane that I got attacked out here at all, like even a single time. I'm going to run back down here and hope this guy's still here because I really want to fight him, but you know, not when I'm just not prepared. Anyway, we have one more skill to get where we're going. A fairy ring. Oh, that's why people check out here. I didn't know there was a fairy ring. What the fucking fuck is out here, bro? This shit's crazy, man. So this is going to be really fun. Right now I'm 1960 total and that puts me at rank 16 on the high scores. However, I am by far and away rank two for XP and I'm still one fletching. So I'm about to gain 99 fletching levels very quickly while I do this agility. And that is going to zoom me up to rank two by a lot. It's gonna be fun to watch. Okay, I just got a 32, which means I can boost to 37 with the sigil of exaggeration. Um, I am gonna do this while I do agility, but I just wanna do a quick like one minute here and see what the XP per hour is if I'm just absolutely zooming it. We cracked eight mil XP per hour. That is absolutely insane. And I'm pretty sure that one minute just got me high enough to do mithril darts, which I, which I also made on my alt. Made some mithril, Addy, and rune. Where's the rune? Maybe I didn't buy Addy. Apparently I didn't make Addy, but that's okay. And we've bought almost 20,000 dragon dart tips, which is crazy. But we can just make mithril darts now as well, which is nuts. My God, we're going to get so much XP. All right, let's go start agility. I found the adamant dart tips that were in my inventory the whole time. I also figured I'm probably not going to swap out after I'm done. So I'm trying to buy an arcane and a dex because honestly, I feel like doing some PKing afterwards. But there is Rigor Learns. We paid, I think, 65 M's for that. Yeah, 65 mil. Yeah, you know, 99 fletching. Congrats, man. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. I just got 99 mage. Yo. So proud of you. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. So the recording starts late for this one because I didn't have my recorder up, but a guy started attacking me on the arty rooftops. I noticed he was on my screen for one tick. I saw him climbing up here and I just knew he was going to try and attack me. So I went and got my gear out of the bank. Didn't have time to change my sigils, but gave him a bit of a battle. All right, I need to catch this freeze here. I need him to stop DD and me. Let's get this freeze. I kind of want to stand next to the agility obstacles so that if I need to escape, I can escape. But... We're pretty equal on damage at the moment, and I have way better defensive gear. His is way better offensively, but it's pretty even here. Come on, catch his freeze. Oh my god, he froze me off the obstacle again. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Still got three brews though, so I should be fine. Let's get a little VLS in here. God, this DDing is so annoying. I'm on an Aussie world. Why can't I hit him? Oh, big VLS. He's not praying melee. I can get some massive hits here. Okay, finally froze him off the obstacle. That menacing mage is so annoying. All right, VLS, VLS, VLS. Let's get the spec off. Oh, only a six, man. He got his prayer on this time. All right, down to two brewers. I've got to be careful here. I can just jump over when I need to leave. All right, VLS, come on, surely. Huge, 38. Come on, big bolt. Big bolt. Oh, come on, man. I'm up on him right now. 17 damage up. I'm giving this guy the absolute spliffington. Massive VLS. Come on, <laughs> finish him, bro. Oh my God, I'm almost 100 damage up. This guy just keeps eating though. I'm scared, man. I think I'm gonna have to jump over the obstacle very soon. He doesn't have any melee either. Oh, those barrages hurt. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Let's see if he follows me. I'll wait over here for him if he does. He's not, oh, he is following me. Here he comes. Okay, maybe he's not following me. All right, he must've changed his mind. I can't see him, so. All right, well, let's just quickly get to the bank then. I can just, I go to the bank, get some food out. He must still be up there. He's probably just trying to get the teleport away right now. I'll go to the bank, get some food out and come back for him. Right, let's get back in there. Arty teleport. Get back up on the roof. Wait, wait, he died. <laughs> he must have fallen off the rooftop. There's no way. Oh my God, I need a looting bag. I need a looting bag, I need a looting bag, looting bag, looting bag. Come on, let's get this loot, bro. No, 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 he's already looting it. Oh, it's already showing up for him. Oh my God, that is so funny though. I got his Zuriel staff. I fell? Yeah, I know you did, buddy. That is too good, man. I'm gonna give this guy his stuff back. That was too funny. That is too funny to not give his stuff back. And after a very, very, very long couple of days, here is the last bad skill we have to train. 99 agility. And this is a very, very, very important level. Now, the reason 99 agility is important is not because I can run very far now. 
It's very important because I'm not maxed, but I need 99 agility to jump over this tree stump. And as you can see, it's not safe back here. I can climb over this rock slide, 99 mining. I can push this boulder with 99 strength and, and I can make this raft with 99 construction and 99 crafting. And just like that, I'm on Max Island, which means JCW, when he maxes, guess who's gonna be waiting here for him? Spoiler alert, it's not me because he maxed three days ago. Calm Man try beef my doggy Warzone thing how come for a party My little nigga can't lose that cash I drop YG 